Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and today I'll be playing the Final Blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with this game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with this game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces. I'll play the London system setup. It starts with d4, bishop comes on f4, pawn to e3, knight on f3. That's how you generate it up in the London. Uh, he's offering pawn. Should I deny it? Should I take it? I say I should take it. But I want to deny it. So I'll let him take if he wants to open up the c file for the attack, maybe with the rook lying in. Um, he plays the pawn forward. I'll let up the knight with on f3 trying to take control of e5 which would be helpful now whenever the opponent does that the, it's simple you have to play b3 and if the opponent tries to hold on to it uh, by b playing b5 then the other simple move is playing pawn a4 generally expect queen to come here now and if that happens uh, we go up and then probably try to it doesn't come so we need not bother about it but take on this first you can take this as well let's see if he's willing to spoil his pawn structure or take with the bishop and still uh, spoil his pawn structure either ways it's a lost situation for the opponent okay he spoils the pawn structure there i can probably take out this knight out of the game before it develops itself uh that can be one plan and or i can just go here in fact here so then i can take on this pawn next a couple of things already eyeing it so yep good time to take it i lose my bishop because it's not developed and keep my knight on the board yep uh i'll prefer knights over bishops i don't see it really going to haunt me later so i'll take it and he cannot move his bishop probably um he can actually i can't take because a couple of supporters but what if i take the knight first then i get to have extra pawn as well so that's what opponent was calculating and in the end probably decides the best thing so knight has a few options to consider and i can to begin with i can start with this knight maybe or just take on that knight first. Yeah, let's take on that knight first. I'm gonna hop in here with this knight actually. This makes more sense so that my knight is always guarding this diagonal if my opponent tries to keep queen here and I this diagonal trying to take my pawn. It doesn't happen, but yes, I can now exchange a knight for this dark square bishop. Because I'm pawn up already, so I don't mind doing exchanges. I don't see how he's saving this exchange, uh, but this can push me in trouble. No, it can't because after I take, do I have to take? Or well, I can just connect both my knights. Uh, let's take. Yes, the pawn is not saved, but he has to take with the queen. That's the whole point. Which means I can go up with my queen which attacks the pawn twice now. He has got one saver, so he has to get his queen rerouted there. Or just play pawn forward, which he does. I'm afraid that is going to save his cause because I can go here. Or let's play something else. Let's castle first to begin with, so that my rooks are connected. There's no problems or whatsoever. I'll try to double up here. Because once I do, then there is no threats of him doing any nonsense. I'll just try to make sure that I am not having any last rank weakness as well. By playing h3 there, maybe. Or it's not required right now at all. I can play pawn forward and have triple attack because he's having double already. Uh, actually, it's not required. He will not have triple anyway. So I need to have triple to take the pawn because I am the initiator there. 
uh, and then I have a knight which will jump into the situation. To begin with, I can play pawn forward. Now I have three attackers. He gets the rook mostly. Yes, he does. But now comes my trump card, which is the knight. Uh, how do I use it? Uh, this is one way of forking. Actually, that helps. That looks nice already. If the opponent doesn't see, of course. If he sees, then he has to move one of the pieces. Let's see if he does. Otherwise, I can come back and then continue with the original plan. But that was change of plans there. Maybe I can flip pawn forward. Okay, queen comes in there. Trying not to stop me from there, but I hold on for a second. I have this, but I have a last rank weakness. So let's save the last rank weakness, also stopping the knight from coming here once I move my knight. Now the pawn is weak. And we have this always hanging, which might be useful. We can exchange knights if required, come back. So knight is pretty good on e5 in the London, as I said. So that's what we're doing best right now. Opponent can think of something like this and then take on the knight. Huh. Just when I thought. But few things work only when the opponent is not thinking the same. Here I am, so now I can take. So I predicted this move right, and that's why I took less time to save it. So when it's not your turn, you can still continue thinking. And now I don't think he has any other option but to let this pawn go. I, if he comes out with something, I'll be surprised. I should say more than surprised. Knight comes in here. Mm, that can be one move. Then I go back here and defend, attack the pawn at the same time. So he goes back, so he'll be losing a pawn. He decided that, okay, finally gives up on the pawn. Let's exchange if he's really willing to. Because I don't mind. He has got a last rank weakness, I don't. So this would save my king any day. Now whatever he decides, I'll take on the rook. It's better for him to take now. Another option. Yep, he does take. I take. He has to again take. Otherwise, I'll take. Doesn't make a difference though. A check will not harm me. Last track weakness is avoided. This knight is still pretty active, I must say. Yes, he avoided that. But next what? Goes back to the corner which is never good for my opponent. I'll tell you why. I go here with the rook, lining up this. And he attacks my queen instead and the pawn. And I say, let's exchange queens of the board. Now probably he doesn't and goes up, goes there which my friend uh, could have been really bad if I had my king somewhere else. Hold on a second, now I can afford to have that because there's no last rank weakness and now the knight is coming for a folk. So you better be prepared for that. Time is running out, but you should not take your opponent lightly. He can flank me as well, despite I'm in control of the situation right now. But I have to be prepared for anything. Pawn forward weakens my king side structure, so I don't want to really do that. What does he do? Okay. Well, I still think I can do something about it. At least rook here. Goes up. Oh, attacking this now. Clever of my opponent. Uh have a queen that generally saves all this. Have a knight as well coming back or here attacking the queen. 
So as for it, I have it. I attack his queen. Goes up. Um, okay, what have we got here? Pawn forward. Goes back. I have to exchange here another option. Want to keep my things on the board. I'll probably go here. Just trying to defend everything. Now he gets my queen, but you can get the game. Time out. I said at the end things can get tricky. Though I think I was pretty much comfortable here. Pawns are advanced. Rook is still on the board. I could have still clinched it somehow, I think. Anyways, it's over. So uh, let's analyze the game from computer perspective. Yeah, 2.5, 2.7 fear of black, which is good enough actually to win it. Let's see where we went wrong, probably at the end only. We'll start off with d4, often played f6, knight f6, I played bishop f4, pawn e6, e3, c5, and I met that with c3. Uh, now comes d5, I developed the knight, so right moves there in the opening. Open plays pawn forward, and I go for exchanging it straight away by playing b3, which is right move, I would say. And as I said, whenever opponent plays b5, go for a4. Now here, I was continuing this in the game as well, that if the best move for the opponent is to come with queen. And this also doesn't bother us much because uh, we have this pawn move forward as well, which works. Uh, we have a queen coming up as well, which safeguards the pawn further if required. Or we can continue with normal development. But as you see, this whole thing uh, just misplaced this queen on the corner and it's not going to be taking part on much of the activities. Uh, and the opponent's kind of stuck. That's why uh, it's 1.7 in the favor of white already with this bad opening. So instead, opponent played bishop on a a6, which was even worse. But then I get to take the pawn, which he takes back with the bishop. I can go on with my knight first or take on the pawn. I took on the pawn first so that he takes and then I went with knight to d2. Now this pawn cannot be saved. And that's what happens in the game. Uh, he tries to play pawn forward but that doesn't help his cause. I take with the bishop, right move. Developing the bishop, making space for castling and exchanging a piece uh, when you are ahead. Always nice. And I took on with the knight. As you see, oh, I am pretty much ahead in the game. Queen check could have worked, but I went for just taking on the knight away from the game, which is also positive in my favor. I was 2.8 ahead initially, and then I got 3.1 ahead, so it's a nice move. The idea behind was just to take on the knight before it develops and cause some troubles later on, and maybe misplace his queen as well again, because he has just been moving his queen. Uh, he just places the queen now on b8, takes, uh, and then I go with uh, knight to e5. Yeah, ideally I should have given a check now because that spoiled this castling. I'm still wondering why didn't I? If he saves with the knight, what have we got here? The other knight hops in and then more pressure. So instead he should just put his king on f8 there, which I doubt he would have thought. Uh, but anyways, let's go back to the game where I took on. And then I placed my knight on e5 and open castles. I go on with the knight on c6, attacking the queen and taking the bishop eventually for the folk. Uh, and then again, I misplaced his queen to e5, uh, and my pawn is pretty much safe. Here I went with queen to d3 first, trying to attack the pawn. And he goes ahead with the pawn. I castle so that my rooks are aligned. Continues pushing that pawn for no reason. I just try to develop on the a file, and that's what I do here. He gets his rook up uh, on on the fifth rank. I play pawn forward. He tries to double up now. Uh, I went with knight, trying to go for a folk, which of course he saw. Uh, as you see, uh, this lands into a folk. So knights are very active. Uh, so he tries to go out somewhere else. And now he was pretty clever doing this because uh, I can fall in for a trap. For example, if I try to take this and win a pawn there, I'm losing, going to lose out on something bigger. Because after I do, this cannot work because he has, I have a queen, but he gets to take this. 
And now I cannot take because if I take, that's going to be mate in two. If I take, queen comes in and I can only put my queen in between and that would be mate. So that was my opponent's plan to misplace me uh, so that he takes and now I cannot take back and he will be having extra rook if nothing more. I have to save my queen, I have to safeguard the mate. So I have to probably come here and he will get his uh, maybe rook double up or just get his queen on b file and then try to give me a check. Meanwhile, I just try to escape. He has a knight as well, which is active. And life is very difficult from here on. It's 8.3 in favor of black. So instead in the game, uh, I saw that coming after he placed his queen there. I created the last rank, removed the last rank weakness by playing h3. Now his plan goes to nowhere. And then he tries to be a bit cheeky. And I said in the game, I was thinking of this move as well from the open side that what he's going to plan. And this was actually not a bad move, I would say, because after I take this pawn, his idea was probably to take on this. What's the harm in this? If I take and he takes my queen, say, am I winning? Oh, his last rank weakness would cost him the match. His last rank weakness would cost him the match. No other option there. Just you can sacrifice your pieces one by one and you will lose. God damn, I didn't see that. I should have taken advantage of that fact. I would have taken the pawn if I knew that was going to happen. But I saved my queen first. And then he gets back his rook, which is of no use now. I'd exchange stuff there. He goes back and give me a check. I had the retrieval square for the king, so I moved it up. He gets his rook to safety there. Uh, and I try and attack the f7. He attacks my queen. I go back and offering him exchange, which he denies. Then I come back because I want to make sure my knight is more active. This is a pin on my king, on my knight due to my king standing on h2. So I saved my king first. Uh, he tries to get queen in the center. And I play rook on d7, just trying to maneuver his queen out, out of there, which does happen. And I came flying back to e e1. What was the right move? Yeah, b2 also works because that also defends the pawn, but both are, I would say, pretty much same there. Uh, he played rook on b8. I went on with knight attacking the queen. He saves that. Then I push my pawn forward so that in just in case I want to promote it to a queen someday. I took on the knight there. Uh, and then here I should play pawn forward. This is what I missed at the end. Probably was bothered about the clock more than that because I didn't see on the first go that this is going to lose me my queen. That's what happens in the game. I just try to save the pawn so that there's no mate coming because I was winning on time. Probably if the scenario was different, I would have thought, given it a second thought as well. Now here I had to take another option or I had to let him take. That is also okay. But I, let, I took and he tries to give me a check, but then he runs out of time. Uh, I don't know if I could have clinched it from here, um, but that would be tough, of course. But yes, these two pawns are my stars. I have a rook hap handing as well. Uh, maybe this and probably I can just attack the queen somehow. Uh, things can turn out. I don't know. But yeah, it's for another day. I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback and keep watching and sharing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, please. That gives me a lot of motivation to continue making these on a daily basis, irrespective of what I'm working on the professional front. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.